Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you what I got thrifting this week and uh, stay tuned because at the end I'm going to open uh, my second Series 2 Wacky Packages mini figures. So let's get to it. First of all, oh my goodness. Yes, I am a little monster. I'm a big Lady Gaga fan. I've seen her about five, six times, maybe four or five. But anyways, finally, finally, finally found Lady Gaga Oreos. And I love this album so much. It got me through the pandemic. Not really, but it helped a lot. Um, pandemic's not over. But anyways, I got one from my brother, Aaron. And yeah, I tried them last night. They were really, really good. Very sweet. Reminded me of Funfetti cake, like icing almost. But yeah, I just want to show you. People are selling them for good money, but it's just oversaturated. It's not worth listing. Um, let me show you a few more pickups before I get to my actual thrift haul. The Fry Kids finally came out. Um, like they're supposed to come out a while ago. But anyways, I haven't bought many Funko Pops in a while. I hate that Amazon does not put any pack, um, you know, pack, ugh, what am I trying to say? Safety protection. It's They literally just put this box in there. Again, it's not worth, I've returned Funko Pops before. This is not in the worst shape. Um, I'm sure if I bought it from Funko, it would be a little bit better packaging. But anyways, I have Mayor McCheese and Officer Mac. I kind of do want the others. Uh, they even have a bunch of little nuggets and stuff. But I just always thought that these characters were really cute. So I ended up getting it for about 11 bucks. Um... I've been wanting the Charles Phoenix Holiday Jubilee book. Um, all his books run like $22, um, but I found a used one, and I think I spent $14 total, so I saved a little bit of money. There's just a little, it's it's in great shape, actually. I'd say new shape. So I saved a little bit of money there. Can't wait to look through it. A year ago, my friend Scott went to um, he went on a cruise, and I think it was in Mexico. They had Coca-Cola with coffee, and I liked it, and my friend Hayden really liked it, too. And yesterday, when I was at his house refinishing, refinishing some furniture, by the way, look for that in an upcoming vlog, um, he said that he's been mixing a little bit of his cold brew coffee with Diet Cola. And it, I tasted it. It's actually good, and it's so funny. We went to the new H-E-B in South Austin, and I still where he lives, and I still, um, we, we had really good barbecue there, but anyways, we found that now that U.S. is carrying this, they have Dark Blend and Vanilla, he bought both, I just bought Dark, bought Dark Blend, I'm trying to talk too fast, and I'm slurring, it's Super Bowl Sunday, and I'm not even drinking yet, but, um, anyways, six dollars, comes with four, it's a very subtle taste, but I think the, the Mexican one that we tried, uh, was not, um, it wasn't dark blend. I want to say it was just regular coffee, so we'll see. I also got it to keep some of them in the packaging, because I won't order. Um, let's see, is that all? Oh, before I open the wacky packages, um, I bought five total. I've opened one, and I did a little preview, and I'm gonna, I have four more, um, including this one, so, um, at the end of each haul, I'm going to save them and open one, open a package. In the meantime, let me show you. Um, I finally got my other uh, issue 10 of Exotica Modern. Shout out to House of Taboo. They do a great job with this Tiki magazine. I end up paying $12 for these. They're going to be collector's item, and it's just cool to look through. Um, so, yeah. Um... Okay, is that all my regular purchases? All right, let's get to the haul haul. I went to, um, this is a Goodwill find. It was $2. It looks very mid-century. Um, obviously, it's modern. It was only $2. It's got a few nicks and tiny little bumps in it, but not really. Um, I just, I did not find any like it. Um, and I have no idea who made it, but... <laughs> It looks very like, you know, a bunch of kitsch people and people into mid-century would like it. So for two bucks, I'm like, well, 
I could put $25 on it at least. We'll see. I've been selling things for high lately. You put a price out there and then you can always come down. Um, I couldn't find it. Um, I, I don't know if I have this book, but I've seen it many times before. I forgot that the Goodwill charge is $2, but it's a co cool little book. And this was $2 as well. Star Wars Collectibles. I love looking through it. So, um, I just love Star Wars and I just finished Mandalorian season two. Um, can't wait for the next season when it comes out. Um, let's see. I bought this to sell. I've sold a beach body thing before. No, I sold P90X. Um, you know, since this was sealed, uh, sealed ones are going for $20 or so, maybe a little bit more. So I'm like, that is an easy flip to make 15 bucks. So I'm not afraid to do that. Yes, there's a lot of them, but it'll eventually sell. Um, so yeah. And let's see. Let's get to uh, yesterday's Goodwill and Kyle. They actually, the guy gave me a deal. Um, First of all, I found this by the pictures, and I'm so excited. I've just been finding so many flamingo things. And it is from a casino slot. It's very heavy glass. It's not very thick glass. It's from 2005. It's almost vintage, um, which is scary to think. But there's tiny, there's there's a big little dent there, or a chip in the um, tradition. Sorry, I was reading traditional belly. <laughs> um it's just really cool, like, I like going to casinos. I don't like spending money. When I lose 40 bucks, I'm like, okay, I'm out. That's kind of my limit. Maybe I'll up it to 50. It's been a great year. Anyways, that was only $3. I don't know how I'm going to display it. Maybe, I think I might actually try to sell it. I need to look it up. But I think the guy rang me up, like, $2 for that. And I think he sold, instead of $2 for this... He only gave it to me for a dollar. Trying to use, I have a lot of hand soap I want to use and I get bored with my soap dish. <laughs> Andre Richard, made in Japan. So it's in great shape. It sells for like $12, but I got it for like 99 cents. This is so random, but it's for a restaurant. Pepsi distributed them, I guess. But um, I thought, you know, I like Pepsi and Coca-Cola stuff. Um, soda stuff in general. But um, I get cool little tiki postcards, and I'm like, huh, eh, this is a good little display to change out little postcards. Um, you know what I mean? This is from the airlines KLM, which is, I believe, a Dutch flying uh, airlines. And I don't see any of these plushes. I sold a airplane plush like this that was a golf head holder. I sold it for great money. Um, people love their airline stuff, and... This weird little world comes out and shows where, um, I guess they're from. But, uh, yeah, I think he charged me a dollar. So, I don't know. I'm going to shoot for 30 maybe. I just wanted to show you that I do collect these KLM little houses made in um, Amsterdam. I mean, bowls. Uh, when you flow that airlines, uh, they used to give these out with liquor in it. And I just love it. And I collect these houses. So I just wanted to make that connection if you don't know what KLM is. Um, I found this for a dollar in the toys, Night Glow, 1995 by Whammo. I just thought it looked very atomic and it glows. Looks like they originally sold it for 12. I got it for a dollar. I'm just gonna keep it because you never know when you wanna play Frisbee. Um, History of Black Rock. This is uh, Black Rock in Connecticut. There's a big map that opens up. I just see one listed for 65 on eBay, none anywhere else really listed. So um, I was glad instead of $4, he charged me $2. So I was happy about that. Um, I just, uh, I think, you know, this book could sell for at least 50. So that's a good flip. I don't have this one. I don't have the goblins. I think I have the fairies book. Um, it was a dollar. And I just love seeing little things about those creatures. Will I read it? Probably not. But it was a dollar. I just like it. I could lot them together. I already have this shirt, but I think it's a medium. And right now, I'm floating at a large. So this is just a night shirt for $2. I just love it. 
Oh, Bart. Look at me giving away my size. All sizes. Um, all sizes, you know. You're beautiful, no matter what size you're at. Um, some inspiration for y'all. I'm almost ready. Uh, this was 59 cents, and look, I just washed it, and why is there all that residue on there? Huh. I just washed it. Sorry, I'm just... I wonder if some ink came off. That's weird. Anyways, 59 cents. I never see 59 cent tags at Goodwill at all. But they charged me 59 cents. Red Bull Summer Edition. It's got a little recipe on it. And I think Red Bull collectors would want it. I didn't see any of these listed, so I bought it. Look at these. See, I told you I've been finding flamingos. These are from Libby. Oh, I'm dripping water on Mr. Flush. These are little, you know, highball Collins glasses. Um, can't you just picture a nice velveteen lounge kitchen fizzy pink drink or for a mocktail? I kind of want to keep them for now, um, but I don't collect fl flamingos, so I might uh, let those go eventually, but they were 99 cents each. Uh, right before I found those, actually I found those, and then I was hunting around that aisle just because I wanted to find more of them. I hate, I would hate to leave them behind. And oh my gosh, this guy that worked there put this out, and I've been wanting a piece of, a, a Pizza Hut pitcher it's very heavy and um it's also be a pepper dr pepper it's a dr pepper one and it was only four dollars i grabbed it right when he put it on the shelf yay sometimes you just have to be in the right place right time because you know that would have i think people would have snatched it last but not least at the goodwill that i find a bunch of tiki stuff i found more tiki granted this is a daga made in hawaii um, but it's Captain's Galley, Moana Hotel. I love that it says Moana. Honolulu, Hawaii. And, um, I think this was or is now a Sheridan. I looked it up. Um, they were $3 each. I found two. And it's always fun when I find two. Because I have a twin brother. Shout out to Aaron at Pete's Treasures. Um, now Aaron, um, I was going to ask you if you wanted the other one. Uh, they sell for about 12 14 um, I'm just super happy. Like, I think it's supposed to be a little volcano, but then again, it's not a volcano. Um, I just love learning about vintage restaurants. Um, unfortunately, when I was washing this, I realized that there's a crack. Can you see it? And it's on the other side, like it cracked in two almost. I don't think you can hold a drink in here, but um, Aaron, let me know if you want it. I'll just throw it into the Christmas stuff. Um, so yeah. Sorry, yours is a little broken, Aaron, but I didn't notice it, but it's still cute to put something in, you know what I mean? I just love how it says Moana. I see there's a, there's a menu in, um, on eBay for sale, and I almost, I wish I could buy it, but it was $50. I'm like, no thanks. It didn't even have cocktails in there, so. All right, without further ado, let's look at my mini brands. Not mini brands, sorry. Oh, one just fell out. Okay, well, we know what one is. Um, here, by the way, this was like five, well, six dollars. I didn't have this one. This is the one that was exposed. Puss Pop Candy Oozing Sore Lemon. I love it. Looks like I just got a double. So, my brother Aaron, if you're watching, I already got one. I already got this one in my last, my first opening. Kind of disappointing how it's a double, but me and Aaron always trade doubles. I don't have this one. It's just the sticker that comes with it. Wrinkled wrap, aluminum foil. So fun. All right, let's see what's in this one. Okay. I, th I think I wanted this one. I don't have it, I don't think. Sludge Pops. Yeah, I don't have this one. Love it. All right, I got two left. This one's round. Al Poo. Okay, y'all. This is one of the rare or ultra rare. I can't decide. But um, let's look at it. Because I'm confused. Because Al Poo, um, it says it's a rare, but it's a, one of them is not rare. And then there's, 
See, look, this, this, I don't think I have the rare one. Balanced diet. Leftover dinner. Dumb dogs. Um, but uh, when you look at the chart, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. Like, comment, and share this video. What did you like? See, uh, really rare, black Alpu. So I don't know if the top is gonna be black or what. It does, the picture doesn't look different than, um, I don't know. I don't know if the dog is black, no. I, I need more clarification on this, but I would love if that was um, rare. Um, okay, last one. Top secret. Top secret instead of pop secret. It's kind of beat up. Oh my gosh, barely cooked. I love how it has a little Betty Crocker thing that's so detailed. Experimental popcorn. I don't think I have that one. So, yay, I do have an extra clod like for my brother if he needs it. Um, I would love to do little giveaways. These would be easy to ship. Um, you know, once me and Aaron go through them, if y'all want any of these, that would be a cute little giveaway. That'd be a cool, like, 100 subscribers. Just kind of raffle off some of these. Or, I mean, just give some of them away. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you liked. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Let's say bye. Stormy. She's like... She's been meowing at me ever since I got home. So I'm glad she was quiet during my video. Say bye, Storm. <laughs> Real quick, at Kyle Library Thrift, this was in the little 50 cent pins. And it's enamel Planet Hollywood and San Antonio pin. And I've, I'm starting to collect these. And, you know, I love going to San Antonio. Um, and... It's a restaurant from there, and I've seen it and walked by it many times, I think. And I also picked up Speedy from McDonald's. I don't like how it's like, a, it's not a clear glass, but I just love it for $1.50. All right, I forgot to show you all that.